because there's a conflict for the hotkey between Snagit and another application. Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show with you how to fix this issue when you're using the Slackit to capture the screenshot on the Windows 10. So the reason why this pop-up show up every time you press the print screen button on the Windows because there's a conflict for the hotkey between Snagit and another application and in this case is the OneDrive from the Microsoft and I did a little bit research on this issue and I found this from the Slackit forum and they explain a little bit more detail on the issue I'm gonna read it for you guys When an application is first opened, this screen automatically registers the hotkey that will be used with the operating system After that, no other application can use the same hotkey until the application is closed or unregistered If another application has registered the same hotkey from what Snagit used Snagit will launch an error that a certain hotkey is already being used The error that they mentioned is this error message Unable to register Snagit Capture Hotkey, please select a different hotkey. And the solution they recommend to use the different hotkey is going to Files, Capture Preference, Hotkeys, and select None from the list of the hotkey. So basically, when you're following along this suggestion, you're gonna select None from the hotkey and you're no longer using your favorite button, the print screen button, to take the screenshot anymore. So if that is what you want to do, I'm gonna show it with you guys right now, following the suggestion from the Snagit. So I have the Snagit right here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the setting and then go to the More Preference. And from here, there's a tab hotkeys. And you can see right now, the setting for the global capture is print screen. No control, no shift, no on. Only print screen is a button to take the screenshot. And if you have no issue with the hotkey, you're going to be able to take the screenshot just by press print screen. And this is the recommendation from the Snagit. If you want to get away from this issue, the unable to register Snagit hotkey issue, you're gonna select none from the list of the hotkey. You're gonna select the drop down list, and instead of select the print screen, you select none. This option is on the top of the list, or you can assign a different hotkey for the print screen feature. So, this is what you're gonna do with the recommendation from the Snagit. But what happens if you still want to use the print screen button every time you press the print screen? You're gonna be able to capture the screen just like this. If you want to do that, then you're going to trade off with one feature on the OneDrive application on the Windows 10. So I have the OneDrive running on my computer right now. And what I'm going to do is right click into that and select the setting. So this is the setting for the Microsoft OneDrive application. You're going to go to the backup tab. And then there's a checkbox under the screenshot with the title is automatically save screenshots I capture to OneDrive. So this is the reason for the conflict between the Microsoft OneDrive and the Snagit because two applications trying to use the same print screen hotkey and then OneDrive was made by Microsoft so it has the priority to override the Snagit at the time that the application is launching. For example, right after you start or restart the computer, at that time, those applications trying to register same hotkey that is the print screen and Microsoft OneDrive has more priority than it overrides the Snagit and that's caused Snagit to display this error message and that's why from the Snagit forum they recommend you to avoid that conflict by changing the hotkey from the print screen to another hotkey to avoid conflict with the OneDrive because maybe they know that OneDrive is a Microsoft application it has more authority, more power to override quote and quote third party application. So to be able to still use the print screen, you're gonna disable this screenshot backup feature feature on OneDrive. Gonna uncheck this one. And whenever you uncheck this one, there's no conflict anymore between the Microsoft OneDrive and the Snagit. And you're gonna be able to use the print screen button again. After uncheck this screenshot backup feature, you select OK. 
to verify you can right click into the icon of the OneDrive select the settings go to the backup tab again and making sure that the screenshot checkbox is empty just like this select OK and now you are good to go you can go back to the snack it select the setting button select the more preference go to the hotkeys and making sure that you still using your favorite print screen button under the global capture and select OK and now every time you press your favorite print screen button you're gonna trigger the windows to capture the screenshot in your favorite way so that is a tip that I use to fix this issue the unable to register slack it capture hotkey and from my own experience that issue happened because there's two applications in my scenario is the Microsoft OneDrive and the Snagit. Two applications trying to register one hotkey. In this case, is a print screen button hotkey. And OneDrive, by some reason, have more priority to override the Snagit. And then Snagit display the error message. And also, you cannot use the screen print button to activate the screen capture in the Snagit. And by going to setting under the Microsoft OneDrive, go to backup, let the screenshot checkbox empty like this. You're gonna fix this issue and able to use your print screen button again. I hope this tip helped in fixing this issue on the Snagit application. If you happen to have the Snagit and Microsoft OneDrive running on the same computer, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and smash the like button. Thank you for the watching. Bye. Nếu các bạn thấy hay, các bạn hãy nhấn nút like, thích và subscribe, đăng ký để ủng hộ Easy Tech Class nha. Cảm ơn các bạn nhiều.